Hello, welcome friends. I am again with you and from this lecture we are starting a new series of lectures on index number. A very popular topic from standard 12 to post graduation and as we have done already with our other previous chapters. In this series I am going to discuss everything from meaning of index number to all the important things about index number. Let's first start our lecture with meaning of index number. Because index number is a very popular term. Every now and then we come across the term index number. So as a say teenage kid also we have already always some surprise about the term what is this index number and who are habituated to read newspapers and magazines regularly must know the term index number. In general index number is a mathematical measure for the purpose which is actually say found for the purpose of comparison. Comparison of say values at two different points of time or situation say or location whatever the case may be. So first of all let's take the formal meaning of index number and I have already written let's first read it and then discuss it. What is index number? An index number is a ratio or percentage. Percentage is the say most popular type of expression of index number. An index number is a ratio or percentage of the value of a variable associated with any item for the given or current period. For the given or current period or location or situation. Mostly we take current period but uh, according to the purpose it can be a period or location or situation with reference to so the percentage or ratio is calculated with reference to something what is with reference to its value in the reference or base period or location or situation so let's take an example say price of something in 2020 that is current year and price of 2019 that is base year so the price of the current year is divided by the price of the base year and multiplied by 100 to get the percentage yes so this is the index number of price of 2020 so first of all ratio multiplied by 100 that is percentage now ratio of what ratio of value of the variable in the current period to the value of the variable in the base period. Mostly the year is taken. So instead of period you can keep the term year in your mind. This is example of index number of price of 2020. That means in 2020 what is the situation of price of a commodity as compared to the price of that particular commodity in 2019. Suppose this is index number of price of wheat, the most popular commodity in the whole world, wheat. Suppose in 2019 the price of wheat was 24 rupees per kg or whatever currency you take. It was rupees 24 per kilogram in 2019 and in 2020 it is on an average rupees 30. So the index number will be 30 divided by 24 into 100. Yes, it will come to, if we take ratio, it will come to 1.25. If we take the percentage, 1.25 into 100, so it will come to 125. That means the price of wheat in 2020 is 125% of the price of wheat in 2019. This is called index number of price of wheat for the year 2020. I hope. Now you can get the exact meaning of index number. Let's again read this continuously. An index number is the ratio 
और परसेंटेज ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ अ वेरिएबल एसोसिएटेड विथ एनी आइटम फॉर द गिवन और करंट पीरियड और लोकेशन और सिचुएशन विथ रेफरेंस टू इट्स वैल्यू इन द रेफरेंस और बेस पीरियड और लोकेशन और सिचुएशन यस सो दिस इज द मीनिंग सो पर्पज ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग और फाइंडिंग द इंडेक्स नंबर इज कंपेरिजन वॉट इज एट प्रेजेंट एज कंपेर्ड टू सम प्री डिसाइडेड पास्ट दैट प्री डिसाइडेड पास्ट इज कॉल्ड बेस और रेफरेंस पॉइंट एंड we want to know the situation at the current point of time that means it is current period so it is the ratio of value of current period to the value of base period in short now why should we study or find the index number there are so many purposes the main of the purposes or rather the most popular purposes are to study the changes main purpose is to study the change or to study the situation as on today with reference to situation at some point of the past yes to study the changes in economic activities or say business and commerce mostly in dash number or unconsciously if you heard in index if you hear in dash number then business or commerce will come into your mind but that is not compulsory for anything you can calculate index number to study changes in economic activities that is business and commerce and main items are prices and inflation yes index number is a very accurate say means to study the inflation purchase power of money that we shall discuss in further lectures human development there are so many criteria to measure the human development for all of them index number is calculated individually industrial production yes what is the situation of industry industrial production for 2020 years compared to some past year agricultural production same way import export yes for a business employment yes most sensitive point investment fdi foreign direct investment what is the scenario in 2020 as compared to 1918 over any past year yes sales profit cost etc see these are monetary measures we can say imagine all these three things statistically because all these are expressed with statistics or numbers so it is very easy to understand the meaning of index number with the help of this kind of terms price sales profit suppose take profit a company made profit of say 1 million for the year ended 31st march 2020 now for the year ended 31st march 2019 the profit of the same company was 0.8 million or rupees 8 lakh what has happened for the current year profit is 1 million or 10 lakh for the base year it is 8 lakh or 0.8 million so 1 million divided by 8 lakh all into 100 the result is 125% that means as compared to 2019 the profit is 125% in 2020 this is called index number of profit by calculating index number of profit in our example what can we say conclude the first of all profit of 2020 is greater than profit of 2019 more accurately against every 100 rupees of profit in 2019 we have made profit of rupees 125 in 2020 again we can say generalize that in the year 2020 the profit is 25% more than the profit in 2019 this was the say our lecture on meaning and uses of index number and i always try to make a very short lecture particularly when it is say theoretical topic with one or two such kind of lectures 
we are going to start calculations the most interesting part of the chapter and there are so many different cases with me and i am going to discuss all of them i hope you like this lecture don't forget to like the lecture don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel p r s h n t p u w a r and i have say change the name of my channel to puar academy that is puar academy by prashant puar don't forget to like to subscribe and to recommend that's it thank you very much